Hello and welcome back to All About Community. Again, my name is Robert L. Harris. I am your host and my guest is a former mayor, City of Oakland, Elihu M. Harris. Uh, mayor Harris, when we were, when we went to break uh, shortly there, before that, we were talking about the firing of uh, Lauren uh, Armstrong. And I read the 54-page report that was done uh, regarding this fire. And it clearly stated that um, the mayor was wrong on all accounts. Uh, if you were to receive a report saying something like that, what would you do? Well, the first thing I'd do is read it. <laughs> um, and I think the thing after that is, so what do I do with information? Uh, do I use that as a way to say, look, now I have more information and I want to correct uh, past error? Uh, do I simply compound the error and indicate I don't care what it says, uh, he's gone and I'm not going to bring him back? I think that all of these are issues that have a legitimate uh, place for public discourse. But in the final analysis, I think that uh, she could have gone one or two things. One, she, had, she should by now have had a better choice, in which case, look, uh, we're going to have to take care of uh, Mr. Armstrong. Uh, maybe the, it was an error in his uh, dismissal, but we have a new police chief. He's doing a good job, and we're going to continue on the course we're on. Or you say, look, you know, I still have some issues with uh, Chief Armstrong, but I'm going to bring him back. We're going to try to develop a relationship. We're going to check the next six months, see whether or not the crime goes down, whether or not I'm satisfied with his service. Uh, but at any rate, he's going to be on kind of a probation. There are ways that you could have, she could have done it without uh, losing face, without feeling like I have to admit I made a mistake. But indicating, look, let's move forward. Uh, new information has come to light. Uh, I'm willing to reexamine my decision. But sometimes people don't want to admit either they were wrong or that they ought to take another course of action. In this case, I just don't think she even cared what that report said. I made a decision. I'm staying with it, right or wrong. And I think that's uh, sometimes a mistake, because it certainly indicates a lack of flexibility. And in the mayor, you want somebody who's firm, but also flexible, and can make uh, changes when necessary or when a new information comes to light. Yeah, and, and that's a good point, because even the hearing officer's report uh, gave her an opportunity because the hearing officer pointed out, mm -hmm. this is a former uh, uh, California Court of Appeals mm -hmm. judge, pointed out that uh, you are going to cost this city a lot mm -hmm. of money by proceeding the way that you're proceeding now. Yet, she's taking the attitude that uh, I don't care. Mm -hmm. right. I'm worried about my ego. Mm -hmm. What's ego got to do with running a city? Well, if you remember, remember, the police chief prior uh, also was dismissed. And ultimately, uh, it was determined by a court uh, that uh, it was inappropriate, and the city pulled out $3 million. And now she's the police chief in New Orleans. So she did not get downgraded or denigrated by that firing. She made money on it, and she got another job uh, with the city of a greater repute, certainly greater size. So I think in the final analysis, um, you know, we should have learned lessons from our past in terms of how we handle uh, determinations and firings and really make sure there's a thorough, independent analysis, particularly when someone's been on the job. And in this case, Ron Armstrong had been working for the police department for years. He wasn't somebody who just came to town. He was someone who'd been in service, who had a great reputation with the community. And I don't think you can dismiss that without uh, giving full due course and due process. Since the mayor has taken uh, office, uh, violent crime is up 21%. Robberies are up 35%. Car thefts are up 50%. Now, it just seems to me that there is some, something fundamentally wrong in terms of what's going on in the city of Oakland and that the mayor cannot back off from that. She has to take some responsibility for what's going on. Well, you know, the buck stops there. There's a straw mayor, form of government. Uh, she has the administrative controls. Uh, certainly has budgetary uh, discretion, and more important than anything else, you have to have a strategy and a plan. And if you have that strategy and the plan, certainly you ought to share it with the people who live here. Give us a sense of hope. Give us a sense of direction, that we know where we're going. Everything is purposeful, not accidental, not reactive, but something that is, in co in co of course, something that we can see and measure so that we see where we are and we see that we're making progress or not. I think right now there is a level of confusion in the city that defies logic. You say a strategy and a plan. Have you seen the strategy 
Are, are you aware of the plan for dealing with the public safety issue that we're confronted with? I think right now the city of Oakland is like a night at the improv. Uh, improvisation seems to be what we're doing day to day, week to week, month to month. Uh, there is no clear direction. And if certainly there is one, it ought to be articulated. It ought to be clear. We recently heard the state of the city address. I did not get anything out of that that gave me a sense of hope, a sense of optimism, or a sense of possibility. That has to be communicated to people who live here. Right now, Oakland is in a state of despair. I think it's not going to change until people have a real sense that not only progress is being made, but it's being made according to a plan of action, not just accident. And and as far as you can see, there is no plan of action. I certainly uh, look for a plan of action uh, with her uh, state of the uh, city address. And all I heard was just words tumbling out of her mouth, mm. almost like, uh, I guess it was Shakespeare, full of sound and right, fury, right. signifying nothing. Right, right. Well, let me say this. Being mayor is a typical job. And uh, of any city in, in the country, uh, you're talking about quality of life, you're talking about crime, you're talking about resources that are not adequate to the task, but you have to have a strategy and a plan. No one thinks you can do it all by yourself, but we all have to come together. You can't just elect someone to office and assume they're going to be able to solve the problem. They're not a god. They're not uh, empowered with uh, all the knowledge, all the wealth, uh, all the, the uh, possibilities of control. But you do have to feel that this person is acting with a sense of community, with a sense of collaboration, bringing the best ideas, the best minds, uh, not based on ego, but a certain level of understanding and humility, that this is a difficult job and it requires uh, cooperation. We all have to cooperate. We all need to support the mayor, but you can't support someone when you don't know the direction they're headed in or, or the way they're trying to attack problems and that you can do your part as an individual, uh, as a neighborhood, uh, as a community. And, and I think that's so important because I was looking at the 10-point plan submitted by uh, the NAACP where they were really trying to reach out to mm -hmm. the mayor and say, here's, here's some things we could do in terms of neighborhood watch programs, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, a we mean clean mm -hmm. type uh, situation. Mm -hmm. I remember when you were mayor, you had we mean clean, right. clean it up our streets. I was driving here this morning. Uh, when I got from uh, between 98th Avenue and Keller uh, Avenue on Mountain Boulevard, it is absolutely criminal. Yet, nothing seems to be done, and it seems to be getting worse. So, uh, I'm a little confused about uh, what's going to happen. we got to go to break, so don't touch that remote. We will be right back. For all about community. Again, my name is Robert L. Harris. I'm your host, and my guest is Mayor Elihu Harris.